Hello, my name is Raquel Abrego and today I will talk about the TikTok video. Uh, the name of the video was The Next Global Agricultural Revolution and is from Bruce Frederick. Okay, uh, this video is about the meat industry. How the meat industry affect us in the affect us in our in our bodies and also affect in the in the environment because as so we know the meat meat production meat production is the principal cause of global warming in around the world. So okay, there through the years there have been a lot of warnings about this about how the meat affect us and these warnings are repeated again and again in different media in different magazines uh, websites newspaper but this is not enough to make the people a little bit aware of not abuse with the meat consumption uh, okay this as I said, this is not enough because people is still eating and abusing the con in the consumption of the meat. And unfortunately, this is this is a problem that it cannot be solved individually. Because, for example, if I stop eating meat, there are millions and millions of people that are still doing it. So. It's useless, unfortunately, if you want to, if you think that you are going to change this just because you stop eating meat. Yes, this is good. I think this is good just for uh, just seeing it in a personal way. Like, okay, my my moral is is good because I don't eat meat. But if you really want to make a change, you don't have to. Yes, yes, you can start changing yourself. But this is a problem really huge. So what the really thing that has to change is the industry. But with this, I'm not saying that the industry has to disappear. No. What I'm trying to say that is that the the meat industry has to change the way that how they process the the yes the meat uh, okay actually exist two different types of meat that are are not like the traditional it's not like the traditional meat the first of all is the the plant make based meat that is a meat that is based just with plants uh, this is good for for humans because it's something natural and also is good for the environment because the process of this meat is eco-friendly and also the ah, the other one is to grow meat uh, with cells in is it is also called the lab laboratory meat uh, this meat is good okay the process is really fast because if you for example if you want to 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 eat a chicken you have to wait like six weeks for for this chicken because in six weeks the chicken is ready it is fat and all these things but with the laboratory meat uh, the meat is ready just in six days so this is better the process is faster and is this is good for the market okay and also just and also another advantage is the is that the process just has a minimal impact, a minimal negative impact in the environment. Um, well, each one has the freedom, the freedom of choose uh, the way that they want to to eat the meat. Okay, you can stay 
you can stay with the traditional meat or you can you can opt for these two other ways that's that I said before uh, is good for the environment and is good for our bodies and organisms and yes another thing well I think in my point of view is that for me the the better way is the 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 plant-based meat because it first of all because it tastes like like the traditional meat is or it tastes even better and this is what people want wants meat and what the industry have to give the people to give the what the industry has to give the, to the people is a meat that tastes the same or to take or to taste better than the traditional meat because uh, the people is not going to change what they eat so the the industry has to be like with new technologies to make this process and also there are studies well statistics that that said that the plant plant based meat uh, is good for the market because people consume it uh, they consume it more in in burgers in sausages and in in another products and uh, <laughs> also I what okay also um also we have to educate the people of this to, to process and also to make the okay make the people to be aware of the consequences the disadvantages of the meat industry the meat the meat production uh, because the people has to have the knowledge of all of, of all of this it's not just it's not okay it's not just yeah it is because this is good the people has to know why why the the meat the meat, traditional meat production is not good and why the plant-based meat or the raw meat up with cells is is good the people has to know why has to have the knowledge and this is going to be good for the new generations and this is how the new agricultural revolution is going to start thank you